I mean, I yeah. would imagine the amount of hours that you have spent listening to <laughs> yeah. couples, right? There's yeah. got to be some really common themes when people sit across from you. You you can almost it's almost like seeing the matrix, right? You could probably say it before yeah. they do. Oh, yeah. What are totally. some of the most common themes, conflicts that you see? Yeah, I mean, I've identified five in the book that I talk about: um, surface fights, resentment fights, projection fights, value difference fights, and security fights. And um, the most common dynamic that, that can you couples get into. Do you yeah. mind repeating those one more time? Sure. Surface fights, resentment okay. fights, projection fights, value difference fights, and security fights. Fascinating. I've never heard yeah. that before. I'd, I'd yeah. love to hear about these. Cool. I can unpack those. And, and yeah. basically what, what a lot of these are about initially, and, and this is what we do when we're scared and we get triggered and we get upset, is we, we just point the finger at the other person. And we create a narrative that says, if you would just change, this conflict would be better and we would be in a much better place and we wouldn't be dealing with this. Right. But people get very, that's like the most common normal position in a fight between two people, particularly a couple. You know, we just blame. And then it becomes very hard to take responsibility for our part because we don't think we have a part. We think it's just the other person. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, you know, people get very stuck there. Can you briefly go over uh, just, just the sure. five and what they mean? Yeah. So service fights is just what we all experience in a marriage, uh, even in our families, uh, with kids, with our parents, whoever, where we're fighting about little things like um, uh, who, you know, late, someone being late or where you left the keys or who has my phone or the dishes aren't, you know, done and they're in the sink. And there, it seems very innocuous, all these little trivial things that we fight about and bicker about in homes. Um, but if there's charge that doesn't match the crime, kind of if, if I'm like really upset about the dishes or the keys, all that means is there's a tributary going deeper to one of these other four fights. And those are, I can unpack those. So yeah. um, people get lost thinking it's just a service fight and they, they don't actually see that there's a deeper resentment here that actually I've, there was this one thing that happened 10 years ago and you never addressed it. And I'm still mad about it. I'm still hurt about it. I'm still mad. And anytime that little thing happens, it, it brings up my resentment, right? And a resentment is when I try to get you to live by my values or you try to get me to live by your values, we're going to resent each other and create expectations that are hard for another person to, to meet. And those turn into resentments over time. Value differences is like, I want this kids to go to public school. No, you want them to go to private school. Um, that can be a very big, very big deal in a marriage um, when we can't align around our values and how we see the world or vaccines and no vaccines is a, a big one, obviously, but usually couples are pretty aligned there. Do you find um, fit in that same one? Finances fit in that one. Yep. How okay. you do, you have a lot of debt and you value spending money and I have no debt and I value saving money. We're going to fight about money, right? Does so sex a, also go sex in that is a, Yep. Sex can be a security fight and a value difference fight. Okay. Um, sex meaning like value differences is I value having sex and touching and being intimate. And that's one of the ways I feel connected to you. And um, the other person's like, uh, I don't feel safe and no, I, I'm not into it, or I have a low sex drive, or ever since the kids kind of thing, and couples can start to drift there. And security fights are are complicated because there's our security on some level as, a, as an animal, as a social mammal, is at stake, which means we feel um, unsafe on some level in the relationship, one of us or both of us. And usually that's because one person has one foot in and one foot out of the relationship. The other person's nervous system has a hard time relaxing knowing that you're, you could leave any moment because you're, you got one foot in one foot out. So this is often in a person with co commitment issues, pre-marriage. Um, it can happen after you're married. Certainly there's people that have one foot in one foot out, even after marriage. Um, so that's a security fight. Um, and then, uh, uh, was it projection fight is like the common one you hear in counseling where you're the Imago technique, the Hendrix's of like, you project your unresolved childhood issues onto the other person, or you project your parents onto the other person. And it's, you, you find yourself in a relationship as an adult and you're like, oh, this kind of feels strangely familiar, like my family, like I'm in a relationship with my mom, like what the hell's going on here? Um, those can be a little more sophisticated on the psychological front, but 
you know, the simplistic term is just like, yeah, you probably feel like you're with your dad or mom sometimes or a sibling and, it, and it's, then you play out kind of what didn't get resolved as a kid. You play it out with an adult partner. Wow. I have never heard those arguments summed up like that, but that makes so much sense. Are there...